First of all, let me apologise about the way I'm dressed. It's really hot today and my wife has asked me to try and remove this grass. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of pampas grass maybe and it's self-seeded. It's been there for a few years and it's actually got to the point now where it needs to go. She quite liked it at first but now it's just a complete mess and I'm going to show you an easy way to remove things like these small shrubs small trees bushes that type of thing and that's to use a farm jack now i've posted other videos on youtube before using a farm jack but this is just to show you how easy it is to remove some of these things if you've got a lot of uh, undergrowth and shrubbery to remove one of these things can make your life really easy for not a massive out there i think i paid 50 pounds for this one and you can get them cheaper than that so i'll just show you how i go about removing this grass and you can make your own mind up whether you think it's worth investing in one or not. So, as you can see, this grass is well established. It's, it's quite a big plant. And the first thing you've got to do is decide what you're going to attach to the farm jack in order to pull it out. Now, it's important that you don't overload anything. So I'm actually going to use some uh, thin rope, but I'll double it up. I think that'll be enough. And I'll use a short length so if it snaps it won't be an issue. You should not be using long lengths of anything in case it snaps because rope will whip back. So you need to be careful about stuff like that. Or you could go really heavy duty. I've got some really heavy duty gear like chain or wire or thicker rope. This polypropylene cord to do the job if I double it up. So I've cut about 10 feet of this uh, polypropylene rope. And what I've got to do now is get down there and get this as close to the base as I possibly can and make sure that there's nothing that's not part of this plant that's going to be wrapped into, inside the rope until you're trying to pull something else out as well. I just want to pull out the actual grass. So I'm going to get in there now and thread this round. I've just doubled it up like this. it through the loop like so it does want to be close to the shrub so what I'm not explaining here is that I'm taking the two loose ends and I'm tying them into a loop and I use a bowline knot but you can use any knot that doesn't slip so you just need to tie the two ends into a loop so that you can attach that to the jack so there you can see my little loop tied on the end of the rope So there's the hole in the jack, there's our rope, I've got to unscrew that and pass that through the loops in the rope, then push it so that it's actually over the hole and put the pin in. So now you can see we've got the rope going through with the eye bolt, the eye bolt's connected to the jack. What I'm going to do now is pull the plant out. So now choose the position that you want the jack to go in. I'm going to put that down there so you guys can see what's going on. Then we've got to set the jack so that it lifts by clicking a, a little button up down there. Now remember the instructions come with this so it's quite easy to learn how to use it and then we start jacking. Now while there's no weight on it there's no issue with this. But when the weight comes on it, you need to keep your head and your hands away from this interface here. Look. So you don't want to get your head and your hands in between this and the jacking handle. But while there's no weight on it, it's fine. And as you can see, it only moves very slowly as it's going up. It's starting to take the tension now, so I'm just going to slide the jacking closer. What will happen now is the rope will tighten around the base because it's gone through a loop and I'll just keep pushing this jack in. It 
small. Now there's actually not much force on that at all. I can tell just by how easy it is to adjust the handle, but I still think I need to tip that in a bit. to hear it pulling it out now and really this has taken very little force I might be able to get out just by levering back There we go. Right, I'll go and get rid of this. And that's a job well done. Farm jacks are really useful tools. You get an awful lot of pulling power for very little outlay. Now, if you do a lot of gardening work, you're dealing with shrubs and bushes, that type of thing, you can't go wrong with one of these for a reasonably small outlay. You've got a very versatile tool that will help you time and time again if you're doing a lot of work. Now, you can also pull stumps out with these. And I do have a couple of videos on YouTube about doing that. One of them shows you that mistakes can be made, so that might be well worth looking at as well. But personally, this is a great tool to have in your arsenal if you're busy in the garden dealing with shrubs and you know big plants, that type of thing. So I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.